Today we're gonna to be looking at how to create a dynamic tab on a record page that allows you to input what fields you'd like to appear there. So this is very common if you're on a record page and maybe you notice that you're just scrolling way too far or there's a particular team that only has so many critical fields and you want them to see them directly. Rather than creating a new section here, what you can do with a limited number of fields is create a new tab here. So in order to do that, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna create a new action on this object. Uh, this is actually the account. And so we're gonna create a new button action or link. It's gonna be a new action. And it's gonna be an update a record. Now here we can call this, um, I can call this sales for example. This is the sales label. Now, here's where I can put the fields that I would like to appear. So for example, if this is the sales team, what I may want is I may want you know, the annual revenue, uh, I may want an NAICS code, um, just a few things, you know, number of locations, uh, maybe rating here, uh, and type. So these are the fields that I want to appear on this custom tab on the account object. So, now I have these five fields that live here. Now I need a place for them to actually appear. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna edit this lightning page. And on the lightning page, I'm gonna create that new tab uh, here next to news. So if I click into here and I go ahead and add tab, uh, I'm gonna call this, we'll need it to be custom. I can call this, uh, I'll call this the sales fields. Here I have the sales fields. I click in, I need to add a component here. I'm gonna add the related record component here. And because there's only uh, so many quick actions here, uh, this is the only one here. So it's just gonna be sales. So now you see there, there are those, there are those five fields that I chose prior, right? And so I can also add a label here. Um, I can say input fields here whatever you would like. That's gonna appear right there. What's really interesting is that any edits they make here will happen on anywhere else where these fields are located and vice versa. So here I'm gonna go ahead and save. I'm gonna activate this. Uh, make sure this is org default here. And so just like that, this is now on the account. So if I navigate back to the account record, here's the sales fields. And here are those fields showing here. So again, that's how you can get dynamic uh, fields on a custom tab on a standard object. Thanks.